In this video we shall talk about how to abstain from video games if you are at home. Your home. It is actually supposed to be your fortress. It is actually supposed to be a place which fuels you with energy, power, which protects you. But nowadays, in our modern days, it turns into a prison. You know, because there is this object contained in your home, like a computer, a TV set, a console, you know, this object of your cravings, which creates so, so many problems in your life. And coming back home uh, is just uh, a ritual now, when you just come back home and uh, you don't even notice how you uh, find yourself sitting in front of a computer and playing video games or consuming other forms of digital entertainment. All this atmosphere at your home where you got used to playing video games for many, many years is, uh, uh, you know, your home turned into a place which is cramped with cues which provoke you into playing video games. So this is a place where, uh, you know, this temptation is put, has been put right in front of your nose. And everyone, even the most disciplined people know that if a, a temptation has been put in front of your nose, uh, you can, you know, mm, try to abstain from it for a certain period of time, but in the end, everyone gives up. So, what you can do? Well, just pack your things and, you know, go to this life of a homeless person. Yeah, because your home, it's a dangerous place. You can no longer live there. No hope for you. Bro, of, of course I'm joking, uh, of course I understand that <laughs> it's hard to, you know, just uh, uh, move out and go somewhere else to live or just go to live in the streets, no point in doing that. The very first thing you can do is just, uh, you know, uh, not uh, going back to your home straight after school, after work, but staying there at your studying place, at your working place, a little bit longer just to do your home assignment just to uh, make some self-improvement for yourself or you can just walk go to a cafe to a library and uh, 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 these places are the places where uh, you know your spirit your mind uh, you know uh, has another habit yeah to work to study to improve yourself just but put away your mobile phone somewhere please or give it away to some person. So at first it was a computer, but when everyone got these mobile phones, these little tricky devices, you know, <laughs> now <laughs> this object is <laughs> just chasing you everywhere. So use other places where, uh, um, which does not uh, contain these triggers, which these temptations, which provoke you into playing video games automatically. And second, create a separate space at your home you know, a separate table um, and put there a separate device and uh, never ever, so uh, you should divide places uh, even within your home where you uh, rest, where you have your entertainments and relaxations and the place where you work and study. And never ever, listen to, listen to me, never ever uh, play or consume any digital entertainment at this separate place. Treat this a place like a respect. Treat this place like the source of, you know, uh, your energy and your power. If you uh, uh, go to that place and get to work, and for some reason you know you got these cravings, or you can't hold yourself any longer, you must just run away and uh, you know play these video games. Okay. Leave this place, leave your uh, newly created place, okay, and go, okay, have your fun, entertainment, and whatever. But at this place, just don't do it. And, uh, you know, uh, start with just sitting there. Just even, um, don't work or study there if it is hard, if you procrastinate too much. Just start with 
uh, getting to this place and not consuming any digital entertainment there. And do it one day, two days, you know, after the third day you may just open your book or, you know, open uh, your homework. But you may not do it, just open, just look at it, you know, observe it. But don't ever uh, play or consume any digital entertainment there. So there you play, uh, there you work, there you play, there you work. Uh, one day will pass, two days will pass, a week, uh, you know, two, a month. And after a certain period of time, your mind will understand that there is a place where you just work and study. And you will see how just getting to, the, to this place will make you switch into a different mode. When it will be much, much more easier for you to study, work, make improvements and so on and so forth. So use these two practical techniques. Don't just get back to your home quickly. Uh, after don't hurry back home after you finished your uh, study work remember your home is a dangerous dangerous place for you so uh, stay a little bit longer uh, at studying place at work or go to a cafe to a library or to anywhere where you can peacefully uh, do whatever is needed for your self-improvement and secondly create a separate space at your home where you will never play or consume digital entertainment, the place which you will treat with respect. And uh, it will help you, you know, to create a new habit, which will be linked to this uh, place and you will have automatic behavior engaging into study when you just get to this place and start doing anything you need to improve yourself, to study, to work, to, to work on your goals and dreams. That's it for today. If you found this information useful, push likes, write commentaries, subscribe to my channel, spread my videos. Thank you for watching. See you soon.